Today I'm going to explain when and how to install the grounding screw on the Kinetics 5700 and 5500 servo drives from Rockwell Automation. To begin, it's important to note that the Kinetics 5700 drives ship with the grounding screw uninstalled. Most likely, this means that upon your installation into your cabinet, you will need to install the screw. The only times you would not install the grounding screw is if your incoming three-phase power configuration was of the following type, ungrounded, corner grounded, impedance grounded, or a regenerative power supply converter. Of course, the flip side to that is that if you do have a grounded Y power distribution, you will need to install the grounding screw. All right, so I have the Kinex 5700 drive here. It's a dual axis module. I'm just gonna turn it over to the right. You can see the small black access port. I'm gonna open it up and install the screw. I'm just gonna screw it in. Once it's screwed in, close the access port. And then looking on the back side of this, this is where it would be for a single axis large frame inverter. That's where you're gonna find this jumping screw. Otherwise, it's on the side here. For the Kinetics 5500 drives, the procedure and conditions are the same. Except now there are two screws, one for the AC and one for the DC. The rules for this configuration, they're simple. If you have a grounded supply, leave both screws in. If you are ungrounded or impedance grounded, remove both screws. If you are running single phase power to the drive, remove the DC screw. Here is the Kinetics 5500 ground screw access port and you would follow the same procedures to install the grounding screw as you did for the Kinetics 5700. If you have questions about this or any other products and services from Rockwell Automation, contact your Warner Electric Supply account rep and we'd be happy to assist you.